Hi guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to show you how you make those spheres that go on top of your cakes. There is more than one way to make those balls. Some ways are edible, some are not. Go with whichever way you prefer and I'm going to show you a few different ways now. So, the first way to make them, or that I'm going to make them, is we're going to do a non-edible version first and we're going to use polystyrene balls. Now you can get the polystyrene balls in a variety of different sizes and I'm using melted candy melts. Okay, so let's dunk this in here. Let's see if we can get nice coverage. And you can always do more than one layer of this as well. If it's thick, you'll see you will get some little lines forming. So the second way we can make the spheres is using polystyrene again, so another non-edible way, and we can cover them in fondant. Whilst you can't eat these ones, the advantage is that they are still lightweight for if you're putting them on like a buttercream cake or if you're doing really big sized spheres. And you can luster the spheres with uh, luster pearlized dust just to give it a nice shiny appearance. So the third way you can make these is by creating them out of chocolate yourself or candy melts. I'm going to use the candy melts again because I've already got them melted and coloured ready from version one where we did dip the polystyrene in. And you just want half sphere moulds and we're just going to fill these with chocolate. We're going to empty them out so they're not completely solid. And then once they're set we'll put the two halves together to create a sphere as well. So I'm holding them on a heated metal smoother and this way I'll be able to stick the two halves together. The fourth way we can make these spheres for the cakes is we can actually put chocolates that are already round in shape in. So something that's edible but we can colour them once we take off the wrapper to our own colour scheme. So the fifth way we can make the balls is we can make them in solid fondant. Now it's going to be heavy so if you're going to make them in solid fondant you really do want them to be on the smaller side. You can make these in advance and let them firm up or you can make them as you stick in them on the cake and then that way you've got a bit of give a bit of movement and you can kind of squeeze them together if you want to. I would advise probably only doing these not only for small ones but for little filler ones in between if you're going to use fondant for it. And the sixth and final way I'm going to show you is technically not even really making them, it's just using some sprinkles. Again, I probably wouldn't use these for much because most of your sprinkles are going to be fairly small, but these are going to be ideal if you want just small little spheres to stick in between some of the larger ones on your cake. So let's prep a cake ready to stick these spheres onto. I'm just using some pink buttercream on mine and I do have another video on how to make buttercream guys and I'll put links below the video to that as well. So once you've covered your cake in buttercream we're just gonna scrape it down so it's nice and smooth with the smoother. I'm not particularly fantastic with buttercream so mine's not overly smooth but I'm I'm happy with how it ended up anyway. I'm just gonna add a little bit of gold leaf so you can get this on little sheets and you just press it gently onto the buttercream. If your buttercream's too soft, it won't work. Um, it will just kind of squish in. So give your buttercream a good half hour or so to sort of firm up before you add some gold leaf to it. We can also add the gold leaf to some of the spheres as well if you want. Now you might find it just sticks on its own or you might find you have to add a tiny bit of like edible glue to cling it to the spheres with. Okay, so let's press the spheres into the cake. I generally start with the larger ones, position them where you want. The ones on the sticks are the easiest to push in. They stay nice and firm. You can even push one or two on the same wooden stick. So these are wooden skewers, so I'm happy to put these straight in the cake because they are for food. Obviously, if you'd put yours on wires, you wouldn't want to put the wires directly into the cake. You would have to put them into like a posy pick or a straw or something inside so that they don't come into direct contact with the sponge cake inside. And of course, you can add all your smaller ones and your chocolate ones. You can push them straight into the side of the cake. Just watch that you're not putting something too heavy on the side of the cake because you don't want that to sort of tear through the cake and drop off. What you do want to be careful of is that none of those wooden skewers and sticks are on show. So use your smaller 
spheres to fill in the gaps so that you don't see any of the sticks. Turn your cake all the way around so you can see what it looks like from every angle to make sure those sticks are not on show and just keep adding your spheres until you're happy with the result. What I would say is watch out for the weight of them. You don't want to topple your cake by adding too many heavy ones to just one side of the cake. If there's any other cake decorating techniques you'd like to see me do videos of, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this one. See you next time.